Hello, people of the internet. This is Tactical Skittles, and I am bringing you a launch commentary on launch. <laughs> we are playing Domination, and I am using the AK-47 with extended magazines. So, in this video, I'm probably not going to be talking about the gameplay that much. If I can't think of anything else to tell you to tell you guys about, I might start talking about it more. But I am going to be talking about me, mostly, because this is my first commentary. Kind of nervous, hoping I get a good reaction out of it. But, yeah, I'm mostly just doing it for fun, too. But, yeah, cause just because it's my first commentary, I'm going to be a bit nervous. And, so, and I'm pretty much just going to be telling you guys about me and why I started with YouTube, why I started gaming. So, let's get it on get this road on the show. I started playing video games I think around when I was I think 10 years old. My we were I lived back at my old house. We were at a garage sale, I remember. And there was this n Super Nintendo, it wasn't even Nintendo 64. Super Nintendo. And it had it came with I think the game Donkey Kong and Super Smash Bros. And it was like Back then, uh, I can't say back then, I'm 15. <laughs> Jeez, what am I doing? But yeah, it was around like, I think $10 just because it was a garage sale. I didn't even expect it to work that great. But I eventually convinced my mom to buy it for me. So I went home, and that's pretty much how it all started. I, um. Uh, yeah, I remember playing Donkey Kong and Super Smash Bros. That was one of the coolest games. I think I've ever played. Just because I think it was like the first game I ever played and that's when I was like, oh my gosh, video games are so awesome. But yeah, after I think I had, I had, I had heard about the uh, ga the GameCube that I that I wanted. I wanted really bad. So I kept asking and asking and asking for it for Christmas. And I remember Christmas morning we were all opening presents, and I had opened open every single one of my presents. There was nothing left on the tree, and I hadn't got the GameCube yet. Enemy care package but then, um, I remember they hit it. They hit it right behind the curtains, like the curtains right behind the Christmas tree. Just like just so I couldn't see it, and they made me open it. They op they made me open the GameCube last. But it was. It was a surprise. It was a big shock. I was, I was, I was for sure that that I wasn't gonna get it, but I got it. And then, and I, it, it was like the Pokemon XD, Pokemon XD version. And it came with the Pokemon XD version, and I opened another present earlier. That was. Uh, I think it was um, Super Smash Bros. Melee, I'm pretty sure. Which was because they knew I played Super Smash Bros. just all the time, so they, I guess, caught wind of this new one and was like, oh, Evan might like this. So after, I guess, like a year of GameCube, uh, all my friends started getting PS2s. So that's like trends, it's peer pressure, you I mean you have to do it. <laughs> Except for drugs, don't do drugs, drugs are bad. And, um, so I ended up, like, I remember because I wanted the PS, the PS2 for Christmas, the next Christmas after the, after the one that I got the GameCube, I wanted that one for Christmas so bad. But, um, they, like, um, my parents, they were like, no, Evan, you've got, you've got a video game console, if you want this one, you're gonna have to chip in. So I paid half, I paid for half of it, it took me, like, <laughs> two months, being, like, 12 years old, to raise a hundred dollars. Or I think it was more than that. No, no, no. I, I only because PS2s didn't cost uh, two hundred dollars. They costed like one hundred and fifty. So I only had to raise one hundred seven. Or no, not one hundred seventy-five. Just seventy-five dollars, and that was excruciating. <laughs> Raising seventy-five dollars, being twelve years old, because you want to spend, 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 spend on like gum and chocolate. <laughs> That's it. So after after the PS2. Like I'd got it for Christmas. Like I knew I knew I was getting it for Christmas. So I, like, 
it, I, I like I got it before Christmas, so I knew I, I wasn't gonna get much for Christmas. But I wasn't I wasn't unhappy about that at all because I remember um, I got the one game that I just was insanely like addicted to. It was uh, called Champions Return to Arms, and it was sort of this fantasy kind of. It wasn't sci-fi, but it was like a fantasy medieval type thing, where you could be, you could be like a tiger, or you could be like a sorcerer, or you could be anything like that, and it was great. I remember, cause, um, cause when me and my friend Josh, he was the one who initially told me about it, so, so yeah, that um. That, so I started asking for that for Christmas too, just for something like, I didn't want anything else after that, like nothing. So then they got me that, and then Josh was like, oh, you got it, Evan? So I was like, yes, I did. And we were playing that, like, nonstop. Like, I would go over to his house every single day, and we would just play that. And I remember because, like, we would be playing it, and we would, like, I would have my memory card in his PS2, and his memory card would be in his PS2 too, as well. Two, 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 as well. But, and then all of my files, like, like most of the time, so, like some of them got erased. Yeah, I'm just making sure this guy's dead. Just hold on. Okay, I think he's dead. But, <laughs> and so, anyways, all of like all of my characters, stats, my upgrades, my stuff like that, they all got erased. And I was pretty choked. But I, I am. Um, I remember I had. I had this tiny white TV in my room back then, and I would just be gaming on that, like, all the time, just so I could be the same level as he was in it. <laughs> like, just so I could match Josh. Have to match Josh. Like, I was a, I've been a competitive gamer, I guess, for, like, ever. Because <laughs> I just, I won't accept second place, ever, unless I'm doing bad. Then, in, in fact, I have to accept last place. <laughs> Yeah, well, so we were we were playing that, and eventually that died down because uh, everybody started getting Xboxes, right? So, of course, you know the newest the newest fad out there was Xbox 360. So I I initially had to sell my PS2, I think, to raise about half the money for it. So after I sold my PS2, I sold it on this on Kijiji. You guys probably know what Kijiji is. But I sold it on Kijiji, and I got, I think, $125 out of it. With all the games, all the controllers, all the add-ons and everything that I had for 125 bucks. And then I had to... I thought, because being, like, 12 years old, I thought... No, I wasn't 12 when I got the Xbox. I was, like, 13. But, yeah, anyways, I was... I was... I was reading on the I was reading it, the articles in the magazine and it would say starting at two hundred dollars. So I was like, Oh awesome, all I have to do is get a hundred dollars but I didn't realize that starting at meant like the worst the worst Xbox that you could get for a hundred dollars. Or for for two hundred dollars. So I raised two hundred dollars, I'm at Toys R Us, I'm ready to buy the Xbox, but then my dad comes, er, and we're talking to the sales clerk, and he says, well, the Xbox Arcade is kind of just for people who who just want to play, like, sort of laid-back games, because it, it wouldn't support any of the other games unless you had a hard drive. So then my dad comes up to me, and he's like, Evan, I think we should, I think we should wait for you, because it'd be, it'd be in your best interest to get something that's going to last longer than something that's going to bail out. So I had to wait a couple more months to, to raise the the next hundred dollars for the for the new Xbox and after I'd done that I didn't have live for the longest time because my mom I remember that she would um that she would think if I that, that she would think I could talk to people and they would come to my house and they would find me but no after after a while they would they that died down and and that that died down and it all started again. No, it didn't start again. It died down. That's it. Period. And then they let me get live. So I had live, and I remember finding it, like discovering it one night at my friend Zach's house. Uh, my friend Zach's house. I've been friends with him since like grade one. And yeah, we and we were up at like one o'clock in the night. We were we just we had found his Xbox cable, and he had. 
the, at the Xbox in, in a room that his computer was in. So we were we were trying to play around with it and we, and we were trying to figure it out, but we just couldn't, right? And then, so we finally actually did, and we were creating our gamer tags, and I think, yeah, his first gamer tag was like Flaming White Ninja, and my first gamer tag was Oith's Poo. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Yeah, it's pretty stupid, but you know, tactical skills isn't that much better. Um, yeah, so we figured it out. We were playing Halo Three all night because his mom finally let us get it too we t we had to talk her into it because she thought she thought the same same kind of thing as my mom did and and we were we were just pumped that we got to play Halo 3 online and that was like insane for me but like I had to like buy the 60 day trial thing or the 30 day trial thing so I that I played it for one night and then I didn't have it at my house, so I pretty much screwed myself over, and I had to buy the actual, the actual thing, like of, all of live, and that's when I started playing all the Call of Duties. So that's my commentary. That's my first commentary for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later.